everyone. So today we are going to be making a new repair. It's on a Dell Latitude 5400, and we're just going to be replacing the screen. So from time to time, these devices, they actually break. And, um, you know, this should be quick and simple, easy to fix. So I'm going to go ahead and get out our drivers real quick. And um, let's get started. So these repair right here, um, a regular bit screwdriver should be able to take out the screws. You have screws from different angles, so you'll be able to see. screws should not fall out because of the, the new design they have a lock-in mechanism on the inside so prevent you from losing them so you don't have to worry about the screws coming out so move this to the side and here you are you have the battery the battery out. It's always good to disconnect power before you start any type of repair. That is our philosophy. Everyone might do it a little bit differently, but it's always safe to remove all power before you start. And then once you're ready to go, you can flip this over and we can start the repair. So generally along the side here, you want to pry open because with these, these um, Dell versions, it's a little bit easier now to actually remove the the screen. So we're going to start prying from the top, work our way over. It's always best to use plastic so that you don't scratch up. And be careful when you're going across with the camera, which sits right in the middle. This is just basically all um, clips that clips in, and then a little bit of adhesive glue that's on there. You can put this back on, fairly simple. Shouldn't be a big deal. Now, this is the screen itself. In order to get it off, like I said, I've already removed the back piece so that you can um, see how it fit in. So I remove the back piece right here so that it's a little bit easier. I've already removed these. You don't have to do it this way, but I already took these pieces out, right? So when you flip it over, the keyboard should already be released. And now you want to work your way to just take out the monitor. You should see right there. So you should be able to peel this little glue tape. Careful when you pull on this because this is a connector that you'll need to reuse. Right there, as you can see, it's very easy to rip it apart. With a spudger, you can go ahead and remove all adhesive glue and then this cable right here 
if you look very closely, we're going to need this, this cable right here should be able to just pop right open. It's like a little bezel that pops up and then you should be able to just pull out. Let's remove this. And these are normally like, if you look right here closely, you can see that they attach a little bit of tape on top just to keep it secured. So we'll go ahead and remove this right there. And this is what needs to go back in on the new monitor right there. This is the old monitor. All right, so now it's time to put our new monitor back in. So right here, plastic is still on, so it's for protection. We're just gonna go ahead and rest this up top right here and attach the cable first. And that should be the easy part. Now we're gonna lay this back down. So one thing I realized is that this bezel came has the, the side panels, but this monitor didn't come with the side panels. So we will need to transfer these Alright, so go ahead and put these screws back in. Now for the corners, if you have the corners lifted and they're not down, what you can do is you can get a nice heat gun and you can just heat up the glue from the back side and then press it down to, to keep it, okay? All right, so now we need to go ahead and try to put the bezel back on. If you did everything right, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have any issues. Now let's put the battery back in.
there you go. So it boots up perfectly fine. No issues. And you know your new screen is working. There you got it guys, easy repair, done. Everything is looking good, no issues along the lines. Looks pretty good. Um, everything is set, so easy repair. <laughs>